You saw the uh, aeration tower outside. He explained removing the free oxygen. Comes through the pump here. And over here is the zinc cone where we add the zinc. The zinc is added in here in a uh, predetermined or pre-measured uh, ink rinse to uh, replace the cyanide with the gold. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm kind of getting out of step here. The first thing is we bring in the pregnated solution through the clarifiers. Clarifiers are to remove uh, particulates of dirt. Uh, uh, as the solution comes off the heat, you pick up particulates of dirt and uh, uh, garbage, uh, solids, and the clarifiers are in, in place to keep that from going through the, the process. What they do is they have a uh, diatomaceous earth uh, batting that gets stuck to the cloth, and those create a real fine particulate that screens out, if you would, the, uh, the debris, in a sense. Uh, we have two clarifiers. We can go back and forth. And the tank on your right behind Rob is a makeup water. We, we fill it up. We use it to mix the uh, diatomaceous earth together and pre-coat the filters. That solution then is pumped to the deaeration tower where we strip off the oxygen. We add in the, the zinc and then we bring it through the press. The press, if you can see, some of them are open uh, right in front of you there, and over here you can see some residue. We actually put a uh, uh, diatomaceous earth uh, layer on there. It keeps the, the uh, uh, keeps the solution from sticking to it, so we can scrape it off. It comes off in it like a cake. Uh, we take scrapers to it and it falls right off. If we don't have this on there, the zinc would stick right to it. It's real tasty. Um, the tray below, we scrape it into the tray. The tray goes to refinery. The solution goes out as it's stripped of the metals and returns back to the bare pond. RMC refines precious metals generated in the United States, Canada, the Caribbean, Mexico, Central America and South America. RMC's variety of induction melting equipment enables efficient and secure melting of a wide range of material in any quantum of their material. Republic's skilled melters stir the material until it is completely homogenized during the melting phase and then carefully extract a representative sample. In the on-site laboratory, RMC chemists capel a preliminary sample of 300 milligrams with 10 grams of assay quality lead to determine total precious metals content of the bullion. Once the chemists determine a first estimate of the gold content, they weigh out another 300 milligrams and add an allocate of assay grade silver to ensure proper parting will occur. Most assays are conducted in at least triplicate with proper standards. RMC chemists capel the sample in a temperature controlled electric assay furnace to remove the normally interfering impurities contained in carrot grade bullion. Once the sample is removed from the furnace and cooled to room temperature, the chemist parts the silver beads containing the gold in nitric acid to remove the silver. RMC chemists wash, dry and weigh the recovered gold sample and record the results. At this point, the RMC chemists dissolve the gold in aqua regia and analyze trace amounts of silver to subtract from the crude gold, creating a final gold and silver assay and corrections. Finally, RMC chemists chemically process the parted solution and analyze the prepared solution on a state-of-the-art ICP for corrections and platinum and palladium content. Republic refines its feedstock using a proprietary process. Using advanced hydrochemical technology unlike any other available, gold is refined consistently to 4 nines quality or 5 nines quality upon request. Additionally, silver is refined to 3 nines 5 purity. Our process minimizes scrubber use, protecting employees from harmful or dangerous substances. This proprietary circuit helps RMC maintain ISO 14001 certification, which recognizes and demands environmental excellence over and above what's required by local, state and federal requirements. Republic Metals produces bullion products in various forms and sizes, including casting grain, 
one ounce fine gold ingots, one kilo fine gold bars, 100 ounce fine silver bars, investment grade 400 ounce fine gold bars, 1000 ounce fine